Hello friends, SpaceX Starship's 10th flight test lifted off on August 26, 2025 at 6.30 p.m. Central Time from Starbase, Texas, taking a significant step in developing the world's first fully reusable launch vehicle. Every major objective was met, providing critical data to inform design of the next generation ship and Super Heavy. The flight test began with Super Heavy successfully lifting off by igniting all 33 Raptor engines and ascending over the Gulf of America. Successful ascent was followed by a hot staging maneuver with Starship's upper stage igniting all its six Raptor engines to separate from Super Heavy and continue the flight to space. Following stage separation, the Super Heavy booster completed its boost back burn to put it on a course to pre-planned splashdown zone. The booster descended and successfully initiated its landing burn, intentionally disabling one of its three central engines during the final phase of burn and using a backup engine from the middle ring. Super Heavy entered into a final hover above the water before shutting down its engines and splashing down into the water. And into the gulf, here we come. And the booster has splashed down. Starship completed a full duration ascent burn and achieved its planned velocity, successfully putting it on a suborbital trajectory. The first in-space objective was then completed with eight Starlink simulators deployed in the first successful payload demonstration from Starship. Pew pew. The vehicle then completed the second ever in space relight of Raptor engine, demonstrating a key capability for future deorbit ones. Moving into the critical re entry phase, Starship was able to gather data on the performance of its heat shield and structure as it was intentionally stressed to push the envelope on vehicle capabilities. About three minutes. So as we get a little bit further into this reentry, that inky black below you is going to start to look like clouds and hopefully a bright blue ocean as we make our way down onto the other side of the planet. Using its four flaps for control, the spacecraft arrived at its splashdown point in the Indian Ocean, successfully executed a landing flip and completed the flight test with a landing burn and soft splashdown. Over the course of a flight test campaign, success will continue to be measured by what we are able to learn. And Starship's 10th flight test provided valuable data by stressing the limits of vehicle capabilities and provided maximum excitement along the way.